In this screencast I'm going to show you some simple drawing techniques within Microsoft PowerPoint uh, which will help with your studies. Uh, the principles I'm going to show here in PowerPoint would also work in Word or Excel. Um, I just find that PowerPoint is the easiest in which to actually do these drawings. So I'm going to go to a blank slide within PowerPoint. Now the default layout that it's chosen is title and uh, a box. What I'm going to do is get rid of them by going to the layout option on the home ribbon and choosing blank. So I've now got just a blank white canvas. Um, if I go to the insert option and then shapes, I've got a whole range of different shape types that I could choose. So I'm just going to show you some very basic skills and tips that you may not have come across. Let's say I want um, a square. Well, what you have to do to draw a square is actually choose the rectangle tool. Now some people will try and uh, draw a square and try and line it up by their eyesight and hope that they get it right. Another way of doing it is once you've chosen the rectangle tool is to hold your finger on the shift key and then as you draw your shape if your fingers on the shift key it will keep it as a uniform shape in this case it will draw it as a square if I do the same with a circle hold my finger on the shift key I get an exact circle rather than a squashed one and then finally a triangle finger on the shift key I'm going to get an equilateral triangle uh, quite easily so that's just drawing the shapes um, if I want to, if I draw lots of shapes, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, copy this uh, square a few times for me. So I've got a few shapes to play with, and I'm just going to drag them down the screen roughly here. So let's imagine I wanted to show these shapes in a line across my screen. Now, rather than me spending ages sort of moving them around like this and trying to get them in the right position, what I can do is I can hold my finger on the shift key and I can click on the shapes in turn and that selects all five of them. If I then go to the format uh, ribbon and over on the right hand side I've got this option that says align. And if I click on that there's a whole lot of options here. Now if I did align middle it will align them all uh, on an imaginary midline that runs through all of the shapes. And then if I do uh, distribute horizontally it will space them out evenly so they're evenly spaced. Okay. If I then wanted to get my left my circle uh, to then align up uh, with this square so I'm going to move it left here rather than me doing it manually with eyesight if I hold if I click on the circle hold my finger on the shift key and click on that square and again go to the line option I can do a line left and it's just automatically moved my circle across to the left point there. So that's quite a nice little tip. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my triangle, I'm going to go to a new slide and I'm going to put my triangle back in. Let's imagine I wanted to create something like uh, a Maslow's hierarchy of needs. What I can do here is take my first triangle and then I'm just going to uh, copy it and then I'm going to paste uh, a few versions of that triangle. Um, if I now go to the format and size options here, um, I could use the numbers here to make them bigger that way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the in fact, I'm gonna make the one at the back bigger, and then that one not quite as big, and that one not quite as big, and I'll just do it with those four triangles. So I've got four triangles there. If I select all four of them, uh, and the other way of selecting is rather than clicking with your finger on the shift key is you can actually drag your mouse around and it will select all of the objects within the area that you've described. If I do format and then align top and then do align center, it will move them into the right order and the right position uh, to create my uh, sort of triangle that looks like that. If I wanted to put text in the boxes uh, all you have to do is just start typing some text and it will appear within the box. Now it will sort of align it in the middle of the shape so what we'd have to do is highlight all the shapes if we then go to this option of align text I can then switch that to bottom and then we can reduce the text size uh, using the buttons here so that things appear uh, like that. So that's just a few little simple tips uh, to help us when we draw our shapes to align our shapes and distribute them uh, within Microsoft PowerPoint.